Hey, welcome to Fitz on Flicks. I'm Fitz, this is my friend Murph. How's it going, Tup? Yeah, pretty good, man. Listen, this week we saw a movie called The Ugly Truth, starring Catherine Heigl, Gerard Butler, and people. Murph, what do you think of this movie? Did you like it? Did you not? Uh, this movie wasn't funny or good. No, it wasn't. Wait, why, you want to tell them what it's about? I'll do my best. Okay, so Catherine right. Heigl, she plays a producer of this crappy morning TV show. It's getting really bad ratings. Nobody's watching it. So one night she's home watching another program, this online, uh, not online, but a cable access. cable access show um, with this guy, played by Gerard Butler, who's totally offensive and he says everything wrong, everything against you know her mm -hmm. beliefs. He's basically against women and he thinks all women are sluts and that this course, you know, pisses her off. Well, the next day, as it turns out, he's going to work for her show, and she is so upset, and he hates her, and she hates him, which only mean one thing, they're going to end up together. Because this is a rom-com, but is it a good rom-com? No com, no, no, no comment on the good, no comment on the good, good call. Uh, um, yeah, go ahead. Terrible. This movie was so stupid, it made my <coughs> anus pucker up. Yep. With sadness. Ooh. It wasn't a happy pucker. Nope. This is just get me out of the seat right now. This was so bad. Gerard Butler, you gotta smarten up here, pal. Seriously, you're a good eye, you're a good egg, you gotta do it right, you gotta can't do this kind of movie. It's... Heigl, you blow. Heigl sucks. Oh, I hate Heigl. I mean, she you know what she she got lucky once. She was in knocked up. Yeah. Because everybody else in that movie is so good in knocked up. Everybody else it lifted her. It made her look good. Well, guess what? You don't get Seth Rogen and Judd Apatow to pick you up in this one, honey. You basically, you see who she is. A poor woman, Sandra Bullock. She is no Sandra Bullock. No. No. I mean... She's not funny. She can't act. <coughs> she That's couldn't drive a bus. She couldn't even get it on with Ryan Reynolds, I'm sure. Nope, probably not. Certainly couldn't get it on with Ryan Reynolds. This is really, really a poor, poor movie. I mean, any movie, Cheryl Hines, who I'm a big fan of, was terrible in, eh, terrible in this movie. John Michael Higgins, who I'm a big fan of, terrible in this movie. Gerard Butler, who I'm a big fan of, terrible in this movie. There's just nothing fun about this movie. Listen, I'm a guy, I know it's a chick flick, but you know what? I like chick flicks. I'm a fan of chick flicks. I love them. We like The Proposal, remember? Yeah. Do you remember? I do. The Notebook? Ooh. Oh, I could watch that all day. But, no, this is really, really, this is about as bad as it gets. Um, everybody involved with this movie should just be ashamed of themselves. This is the most paint-by-number, most... There's just nothing clever about this no. movie. Nothing clever about this movie. And this is like the rom-com, this is like the push of rom-coms. This is the eagle eye of rom-coms. This is a bad freaking movie. I hate you, Ugly Truth. Ugly Truth? Get a new body. Come back when you get something else. All right. right. So don't see it. Don't see it. Whatever you do, don't see it. It's on cable late night and you're home on your couch. Turn it off. Go to bed or put on porn. Do something. Do not watch Ugly Truth. What you should watch is Fits on Flicks. Where can be found at fitsonflicks.com. Murph, been a pleasure. Thank you for much. You're much welcome. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care and uh, be good. Bye bye.